Hey, YouTube. It's Dylan Hovey, and we're going for round two of the challenge. We lost to Sneak and Show, where I made a mistake in game one by putting the shields down on fours for a turn, which cost me. And then I got Blood Moon in game two, which also cost me. So I could have, I don't think there's anything I could have done with my play in game two, but I maybe could have mulliganed my hand. It was like a cantrip, a daze, two surgicals, a wasteland, and then two other lands. So maybe that's not good enough on the play against Sneak and Show. Like I needed, I didn't have a threat, but I was really hoping to ponder into one. So I ended up shuffling off my ponder. My ponder was not great. So, which cost me, I just couldn't find an answer for, I couldn't just find an answer for a turn uh, for the Blood Moon. I'm on the draw. It's Hurricane Carter. We get that sweet Hearthstone hand. Michael Flame knows all about this good stuff. I'm going to ship my hand. I'm going to keep seven. All right, we have a brainstorm and a death right. We have a brainstorm and force and death right. I think I'm actually... I kind of want to keep this on top because it makes my first force better because I can pitch this force to it and keep my brainstorm to dig. So I think I'm going to keep that on top. It's going to suck if I have to force turn one, but such is life. Island. Ponder sounds good. So now this goes and gets under round C, and I'll play a death right shaman. Shuffle, shuffle. They did not shuffle. Okay. All right, underground C, death right shaman. Good boy, Philly. And I'm more than likely going to force pitching force if I need to. I just don't have anything going on and I need to find some action with this brainstorm. All right, don't get me. Nice. Now I get to wasteland this. I might as well ponder first, get a little more information. I could have, I should have brainstormed first and used that ponder. All right, days is good. None of the else of these are good. So I guess I'll put push in the bottom. And then I'll just hold up with, well, I'll hold up with the Shaman. It's not worth the one point. I might have to dig one more card further. Hey, no. Hey, do this. Do your toys. Don't chew other things. Do the things you're supposed to do. Cat, I bought you the shit so that you use it. Well, they have nothing. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to brainstorm. That's sad, but we do have force. So I guess I'll put this decay back, then put this him on top. And I just, I'm not gonna play my land, but I am gonna get in there for one with the old shaman. Death Rite Shaman getting frisky. Now we'll play this just so that if they get any ideas, 
black. Alright, Lotus Petal Sneak Attack. So I'm getting my Abrupt Decay next turn. I'm just going to daze this. Just daze and cantrips. Enjoying your... It's a cute dog. You look at school. <laughs> hey, easy with that. We don't need, you know... Yeah, we don't need that here talking. It's uh, coffee, not hot chocolate. These are for my uh, eyes. They're just like eye... Um, they're just like eye protectors. So I like that we can beat Blood Moon still, which is nice. Yeah, we're going to let that go. Hopefully my opponent just doesn't like figure out how to jam here. We need to definitely find some action. I just don't have a clock, which is not good. Wow, they've brainstorm locked themselves. Jeez, I'm crow. Or they could just be waiting to um Sorry, I take it back. You're nerdy. I can't tell if you're trolling me or if you're if you're being a jerk. All right, yeah, we're gonna. All right, we're gonna give you a timeout for that. I don't know if you're just trolling me or or what. All right, that's a good draw. So let's brainstorm. Hopefully we can find some action. That's action. So I'm gonna put both of these back. Go get a bayou. Hey, no, no, no. What are the colors Get bayou. Black. We got, the, we got an Emrakul out of their hand, but it shuffles their library, which does kind of suck. It shrinks my, it shrinks future Tarmor Blades for me. I'll let this go. I don't want to pitch my Delver unless I have to. Chooses to not shuffle his library. I might waste this Tarn, because, like, he might want another card. If he goes to his upkeep, I think I'm going to waste the Tarn. Like, it's not cute, but at least lets him shuffle. All right, yeah, so we're going to play this. And then I'm going to waste this in their upkeep. Hey, no. No. Do this. Do the things we gave you to chew, bud. I think this means he probably wants another one of his lands. Hey, stop it. No. No. Chew the toys, we got you. Don't chew this. He lets it go, which means he wants... Stop it. Stop it. No. Hey, no. Okay. So now we hope that this Delver flips. Then we can at least get a clock going if this Delver flips. All right, Delver flips. To a bad card, but what are you going to do? 
Alright, at least we have a clock. I assume that he kept this ancient tomb with his um, off his ponder. Stays this. If he has force of will, he needs force of will and fatty. Alright, concedes. Alright, sweet. So against Sneak and Shell, we side in the exact same thing. We put in all of these. We side out our TNNs. We side out two decays. We side out the fatal pushes. Hey, no. Billy? No. Play with your toys. Play with your toys. I'll play with you as soon as I've done this round. I could board out my Lilianas on the draws. They might be a little slow. Like I could board out these Veils and then board in Diabolic Edicts. Hey. Good boy. I don't exactly know how to sideboard for this because, like, I need to cut two cards, and I'm like, maybe I cut these veils. Maybe I could cut like a wasteland. I probably could cut two wastelands because 18 lands is probably fine because we're not getting wastelanded, and we're not going to have as many targets to wasteland. They want to try this. I get, I'm getting super punished for my like last minute audible. Yeah, we got along in this. I kept in my deck, I, I switched a him for a fatal push to just have a seventh and eighth removal spell in the, in the or a sixth targeted removal spell in my main deck. Okay, I'm gonna move. This hand's pretty good. That on top, you're gonna know, lay line me now. City of Traders. Defense grid. So do I force this and pitch Delver? I kinda wanna keep my days in my hand. I think I'm gonna force this and pitch this Delver. Hey, no. Play with toys. Not that. Play with toys. Play with toys. Good boy. Come over here. What do we got here? Cast returning an island. Days this. Okay. So now I'm gonna draw step surgical these uh, these show and tells. Get these out of this hand. Hopefully draw Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize or Deathrite Challenge would be sweet. If I use not sweet. Pay life, because that doesn't matter. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so Gristlebrand, Pyroblast. So we get that, 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 that. So let's take a picture of this. Let's move 
this way over here. Okay, so we knew we had that. So we need sneak attack now to win. So there's that and that. So we played the Valk. And now we just get our Tarmogoyf down and hopefully we can get him before, what do you do that? He went top, bottom. Him will be good. That is not good. Well, at least we have a Tarmogoyf. Our opponent is down a lot of resources. Or we are down a lot of resources because we two for one ourselves with a force and surgical, which didn't get us a card. So he's, I know, one. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Lotus Petal, okay. So we've got Pyroblast Gristlebrand X. Hey, no. No, stop chewing that. I would love a brainstorm. Brainstorm, ponder, another Tarmer Boy for Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Liliana of the Veil vale is actually not super great anymore because they're going to go off at instant speed. Stop it. Stop it. No, really? Hey. No. They are fetching in my upkeep. What are they doing this for? I guess they're going to want to fetch, and they just don't want to... Okay, search your library for three cards, reveal them... Ouch. No. Mark, tell me, buddy. Okay. Okay, so they have a sneak attack. That's not bad. Like, it's not very good, but at least they can't... Like, I'm going to be able to deal with their... Um, actually, no, I can't really even deal... You're just not being appropriate. And, like, sometimes it's all a sense of humor, which I get. I have a pretty big sense of... I have a decent sense of humor, but... So they need another land. They have to keep like Gristlebrand, another mana, and another mana source in order to get us going here. So we're, we're probably we're in a decent amount of trouble. But if he misses, and we find like uh, we find another discard spell or something like that, because he needs to, he's got to keep. He basically needs to top deck a land in order to, because we know his hand. So here comes. So we have another turn. Because he's got. So we need to hit like a him. Him, Thoughtseize. Another Liliana. That's gas. That is gas. Oh no, I... Oh no, that's so bad. I should have attacked. I just missed out on a bunch of damage. I got so excited that I just missed out on a lot there. All right. Enough. All right, that was my, I got so excited that I hit like the top deck that I needed that I used my Liliana too early, which was a punt, missed out on three points, which could be a turn. Get 
that in there. No. Now we just gotta hope that they miss. Now I probably just go sneak attack versus lands here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go sneak attack against lands. I actually can go like this. Leave him with just a Valk. And then if he's got an island, I'll just hit him. Yeah, that guy was a jerk. There. And, like, I thought at first... Alright, so we got that one, which is nice. So let's... 